Yo, yo, yo. How's everyone doing? Hey, Sova, how you doing, mate? Yeah, Tonsil, it's nice to have you, uh, nice to have you in, man. Welcome. Um, I guess I've been doing this for the best part of a year now. Although I've kind of been a little bit intermittent with my schedule. Uh, some months I don't go on. Zero, hey, welcome. Yeah, I'm all right, Sober. Uh, my second day of being home alone, just going crazy, eating a lot of pizza, staying up really late. Katie's in London at the moment because she's uh, she's DJing a show uh, tomorrow. Um, should be really cool. So I'm going to go down uh, after work, go hang out with all those guys. Hey, Myth, I'm good, really good. Uh, for anyone that wasn't in last night, um, made some really good progress on a on a track. It's kind of been sitting around in some kind of unfinished state for I don't know a few months now, and uh, sort of finally decided to try try and break the back of it. Uh, best artists, musicians abide by their own schedule. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I need a slightly uh, a slightly better schedule. Ten ten years without making music, man. That was a that was a long time. What is going on with my mic game, man? <clears throat> One, two, woo! Uh, I'll just put a really quick shout out on uh, Facebook and then we will get going. Uh, in fact, I'll do it on the keyboard because it's uh, it's quicker. Tess, how you doing? What's been going on? <laughs> Sorry if my, uh, my voice <clears throat> kind of keeps giving in a bit. Uh, as I was saying, I just got over... Uh, my first proper bout of COVID, so I'm still a little bit... I had this kind of weird thing today where like, I couldn't breathe properly. I kept, like, <clears throat> I was trying to breathe in all the way and my chest was just like, nah, no more oxygen for you. So that kind of sucked, but like, otherwise I'm feeling good. Uh, Twitch.tv, Chimp Spanner, gonna work on a song, some more. Come say hi, keep me safe from the boogeyman. Yeah, I know. I've, I've well, my dad's actually got uh, long COVID. Um, it's been a few months now. He's had uh, sort of like coughing and respiratory stuff, and yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> I know a few people that um, they caught it like way back when, like the the alpha wave, when there was just like nothing, like no protection at all. Uh, and one or two of them are still like in and out of hospital and everything. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not that I'm afraid to be on my own. I'm a big boy, it's fine. But uh, it's also quite a tall house that makes a lot of noises. <laughs> You're just chilling on my own. I'm like, was that the cat or was that someone trying to get in and murder me? So, yeah, what I was thinking of doing tonight, well, firstly, is, is I want to work on this song some more that, uh, that we were working on last night. Um, and then depending on how I feel after that, when that sort of run its course, maybe just do like a little... Uh, ambient synth jamming, just kind of see what comes out. I mean, I've got it all set up. I just I haven't really used it yet for uh, for any streaming. So, uh, so that's kind of the plan for tonight. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this very nice, soothing, chill, hot music. And uh, I made a few changes today uh, on my lunch break. Um, so structurally, I think the song is making a lot more sense now. Um, if you were listening last night, you might notice the, thing, the things that I swapped around. The intro <clears throat> still doesn't work yet. I kind of have to develop that. I might do that tonight as well. But I wanted to kind of use these chords at least once before they happen again at the end. So it kind of just bookends, bookends the song. Yeah, it's over. I, I sent over a, a clip of it uh, earlier. So he's he's already heard this. You're gonna hear it again, many times. So I'm gonna introduce a few different layers and stuff from from the chorus after this. And then the main thing is that it's gonna have um, a nice sort of big droney swell and kind of bring. So when, so when it kicks into this bit, it kind of makes sense.
Altså F-sharp, ikke? This bit is also really underdeveloped. I'm gonna work on this tonight as well. Hey, nice to see another uh, another reason user chase. Excellent. So that is <clears throat> the song as it stands. Um, there's obviously quite a few things that I still need to work on. So the main issues at the moment, I think, are this this middle bit. I mean, I'm kind of contemplating whether or not to even have drums there, or maybe kind of do like an electronic uh, thing. Uh, I'm on my phone with no headphones. Ah, oh, f. Um, yeah, because so my, so my thing is like. Because I was listening to it earlier and it was sounding cool, but I was kind of starting to get a bit fatigued, especially by the drums. Because they're so busy when they when they are on. I'm kind of feeling like it would be good to kind of use them sparingly and just have like more contrast throughout the song. So I might try something out with this bit where at least just for the first half, maybe it's just like sort of really cool little glitchy drums. Could maybe even use some hardware or something. That would be cool. Um, and then for this bit, before it kicks in, Maybe have um, like a filtered out version of that riff. So it's just like and then kick in. That'd be cool. Uh, what device are you vaping? Uh, Elf bar. Cola flavored. 
Yeah, I don't know, Tom. I mean, we're pushing five minutes on this, which is a kind of a long, the longer side. Like, I, th I think my more recent stuff has been coming out like 3.50, four minutes. Um, yeah, Sova. I mean, th th that's the thing is I'm kind of trying to think of things that I can do that go a little bit beyond just like, you know, the sort of band setup. So <clears throat> let's, uh, what should we work on first? <sighs> Right, let's see what this sounds like with this taken out. Uh, all right, let's bring the little, <clears throat> little zaps. And also, I think what would work really well is there's a sound that I use early on that I actually haven't used anywhere else yet that's really cool. I mean, yeah, that sounds fucking cool. Ah, but it's uh, the wrong length. Uh, so let's grab. Yeah, this is the full, full version. It's down here, so we'll put that on squelch base. There we go. I mean, it maybe doesn't even need to be that phrase. It could just be like a single pulsing note. Because the tonality coming out of this is like major. And this is not that. <laughs> we'll see how it works anyway. I don't know, what do we think? It's definitely better than it was before. Um, let me just try. Yeah, I know. I'll, <laughs> I'll explain this in a bit. Uh, man, I might be setting myself up for some extra work here. Uh, white noise rhythm. And we'll make this in red as well. Uh, so let's put in an audio track. And, <clears throat> oh man, I can't remember what number the, uh, the drum machine is on. Shift, instant record. I'm just gonna have to mash buttons and oh, there you go. It's that one. Uh, yeah, let's try doing something with this maybe. This, uh, this might not work, but I'm just looking for an excuse to use cool stuff. So we'll see what it does. Uh, why is that not restarting? That's new. Never normally does that. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's... Let's not overcomplicate it. We'll we'll save that for for a bit later. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's unusual. I wasn't doing that earlier. Um, so let's just find like a little glitchy, glitchy thing. Let's try some machine. Oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Um, and we'll see. I think there's some good, like, 
glitchy kits. Sounds kind of cool. Um, Yeah, okay, something like that. That that particular kit is not the one. Ooh. Yeah, that sounded pretty cool. Uh, so, oh man, how do you do this now? So, because when you're working on machine, you basically, you're kind of using the, the clip. Hey, Daniel. Undead, nice to have you with us uh, for your first time. Um, it is definitely getting there towards my, uh, my, my dream setup. There's a couple of other little bits that I want to kind of incorporate into it. Probably going to need a bigger desk and or room at some point. Um, but... I mean, I'm, yeah, that's just being greedy. Try that. Uh, first half of that was all right, I think. So let's do pattern and clip length, two bars. <clears throat> oh, I put fucking spin on it. Uh, group. Groove, swing them out, zero. There we go. All right, what can we put on this? Let's try some... Oh, you need a quantum computer, otherwise super outdated studio. Um, yeah, actually this computer is, uh, I actually bought it off, off the shelf 
from uh, we have a shop here called Curry's. Well, they sell like fridges and TVs and microwaves and all that shit. But they also have like a PC section. And um, <clears throat> this was at the time when all the components were really expensive. So when I was looking at doing a, a self build, just the graphics card was coming out like nine, eight, you know, eight, nine hundred pounds for like an RTX or something. And uh, yeah, I was walking in there. I think I was looking for like a, I don't know, like a mouse pad or something. And uh, I saw this box on the shelf and it was like an 11th gen i7 RTX 3070 pre-built, all the, you know, colored lights and all that stuff. And it was like quite cheap. I think it was like 1300, 1400 with just everything in it. The only thing that was wrong with it was it only had 16 gig of RAM and I've just recently gone up to 64, which has been like an absolute game changer. Um, but yeah, I mean, to, to just stumble across a, a pre-build in a, you know, home electronics store especially at that time, was, was pretty good fortune. Try putting some compression, maybe. I don't know, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I might sort of revisit that, but it seems to be working all right at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll put an audio track uh, underneath the machine. And then what you can do <clears throat> is you can click and drag this guy. And while you're holding the mouse button, it renders it to audio. And then you can just pop it in as a loop. Then you can just get rid of the original machine. And I should have the loop. Ah, oh, I lost my, uh, what do you call it? Effects chain. <clears throat> it's all right, I can grab it from here. So we'll take all of this. I said all of this. And then just shift drag it into there. There we go. Do I need this thing now? Hey, base, how you doing, mate? Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, what I'll do is for this squelch bass thing, we'll kind of try and make that sound evolve a bit towards the end. So it kind of like <clears throat> masks the, the tonality of it. Uh, and I think there's probably like an oscillator sync control in here somewhere as well. Uh, so if we just automate that up at the same time. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it's it's something. Oh, 
one. Thank you, Road. I'm wondering if maybe um, for this end bit, <clears throat> just have some more guitar layers. Uh, so create audio track. Will you do a solo on this one? Um, yes, but <laughs> probably not on stream because soloing is still something that I don't always enjoy a lot. Uh, I mean, I was even thinking for a, for a Sometime, you know, maybe it would be a good vocal track. Uh, but then I don't really want to distract too much from like the kind of soundtracky vibe of it. And I think it works kind of well as a as an instrumental track anyway. So <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, right. So for this layer part, I'm just going to use. I oh, will use a, another neural actually. Let's try a bassy. <laughs> Yes, I'm using presets. Shut up. Oh, dude. Honestly, like, I'm I'm very uh, not confident with my soloing abilities uh, to the extent that I just I don't even offer to do it like for money. You know what I mean? Um, I'm okay with like give just given enough time, I'll sort of chip away at it, chip away at it. But sometimes it'll take like. I don't know, a couple of weeks to be happy with a solo and yeah, I don't know, man. I suck. I need to practice, you know. Uh, right, so let's get that gate on because it's quite noisy. I like that sound cool. I like I like that little just like a, just like a simple two note thing. Dude. 
open. Okay, where where did I uh, where did I screw that? Okay, it's in the right place, isn't it? Really one of that prominent in the mix. Yeah, so let's do that. So we'll have it <clears throat> dry or drier for that part. And then as we come out into this end section, <clears throat> I have no idea where that noise is coming from, by the way. I can't stop it.
Hey, Nikki. Man, I keep, I keep putting off having to do this end bit on guitar. I think, I think this is, this is the job for now. Well, this bit I'm gonna have to learn. <laughs> but this bit I'm pretty sure I can do. I mean, it's, it's easier to play it up there. Uh, maybe if I do... Yeah, so do the first one. Because when you're doing the, that, it's easier to do it on the 11th. Nice one in a bit, Daniel. We'll catch you next time, mate. Uh, it's going to take a few goes. I'm very sorry in advance. It's getting from that really closed mute, like. Maybe if I <clears throat> angle the pick a bit more. Nah, it sounds cleaner up here. Cleaner. I mean, I could try muting it, so it's all muted. It sounds better open. I mean, does that work if I play it up there?
Yeah, I know, right? Are any of these any good? Ah, uh, we're taking the lazy way out, guys. Copy paste. Uh, that is indeed Avalanche Base, yes. We were talking earlier, actually, in the Discord about how um, on the Doom soundtrack, I don't think there's much, if any, uh, real bass guitar or e like even sample bass guitar. So I'm wondering if there might be parts of this song that would sound better without, uh, without the bass. But then it's kind of like half the guitar tone, so... I don't know. It doesn't sound terrible. Hey, Mally, how you doing, mate? Uh, as you just got in, <clears throat> and because my arm needs a break, uh, we'll take a listen to the song as it stands. Uh, so you can kind of just hear what's going on. Oh, will you will you still have uh, earplugs in then? I, I don't want to interrupt your uh, workout session. <clears throat> but I genuinely do need a, a break. Yeah, I need to get back to the gym as well. Um, kind of waiting until I'm like 100% negative before I go back in. But next week. Huge. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, Mike. Really bad. Yeah. 
this bit sounds a bit rock still. I'm gonna add that high part in as a as a layer thing. Yeah, I mean the song's actually called Battle Mode. I don't know. Yeah, I've got to get the jazzy chords in there somewhere. I think that sounded right. Um, <clears throat> so there was something that I wanted to do on this bit. Uh, maybe just kind of have that filter in so that when it hits on this bit, it kind of makes a bit more sense. So that is arpeggio. And <clears throat> we'll just filter this up. There's one thing that I've mentioned many, many times about Reason, but for anyone that's kind of wondering, hey, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, anyone that's wondering, you know, wh why I tend to use Reason instead of other doors. This thing right here, super simple. Where I draw the automation in is where it happens. Where there's no automation, it just goes back to what it should be. It's so hard to find a door that does that. Ableton does an okay job of it. Cubase is a nightmare. You're just drowning in like little automation points and stuff. And it's like, yeah, it's maddening. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, Mike. Um, I don't know if, if you're watching as well as listening, but every parameter has these static values. So like, <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could automate like 20 things on a synth, do whatever you want in like, if you, even if it's just like a beat. And as soon as that automation stops, it goes exactly back to, to what the preset was. Which for, I mean, for a certain type of working, a certain type of music, it works really well. It's really good for electronic stuff as well, where you kind of want to revolve your sounds and, and everything. Um, so I keep kind of waiting for them to do something like that in uh, in Cubase, but 
they ain't doing it, so. This thing, uh, if I can find it. So this is like uh, epic layer group. This is new RG group. So on this uh, layer guitar group track, what I'll do, this is something I, I do quite a lot in my stuff. Um, so I'm going to have this reverb <clears throat> set to like a really long time. The default position is going to be off. And the dry default dry wet position is fully dry. So for that last note, I'm going to automate the effect on, and I'm going to bring the dry wet balance up. Uh, and if it works, we should get that last note on the uh, on this guitar part should just kind of blend into like this really cool spacey sound. So enable, and then fade in. All your curtains are open, who's looking in the window? Stop it. It's the boogeyman. Yeah, that sounds cool. I keep putting it off. <clears throat> I'm going to have to learn it. Uh. What's that even doing? Oh, 
Oh, so this stays in the same place. I kind of don't like that. Um, it would make more sense if it did. Let me change <clears throat> change the bass as well because that's going to be wrong. Oh no, don't don't do it Mike. Dick 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 I mean maybe I'll try it, I don't know. Uh let's mute well I wasn't even recording anyway, so uh let's mute the mini guitar. Bring this middle guitar up so I can hear what I'm doing. I'll worry about that bit later.
Do give me strength. Rift makes me really hot, sweaty. Like I've been watching cops. Um. Hey, somebody gets a reference. Ah, that was almost a good one. Getting there. Getting closer every time. I promise. I think the key as well is like, it's doing that switch between between the strings. Like... Yeah, you think I'm doing that whole part? Sorely mistaken. I love this tracking method. You mean the method where I fuck up repeatedly for about 20 minutes and then I strike gold? It's about as good as it's getting. <laughs> what the fuck? Full screen playing, Paulio. Uh, yeah, we do full screen playing. So you can, <clears throat> you can better examine the look of anguish on my face. Oh, I'm going crazy. So messy.
<laughs> wow. What is production in 2022? Honestly. I promise I'll learn how to play this properly. Uh, that's a shit transition. Um. Do -do -dim. It should just be like a do -do 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 Yes, we're back here again. <clears throat> Yep, it's fine, whatever. Uh, do we think that's like a good, just a good ending? Like, dum dum. Hold on. <clears throat> hey, thank you, Mike. A lot of practice. Being a sad, fat only child. Um, dum dum. Yeah, let's do dum dum. So we'll do a proper. And I should really use a noise gate. It would make my life a lot easier. Uh, sick, you could take it up by doing snares on the high notes and kick kick cymbal instead of kick snare tom. Uh, you mean on, on this little... Um, uh, dude. You mean on this bit, Mike? 
Ooh, you know what would be really cool? <laughs> uh, and by cool, I mean stupid. Yes, it's bell time. Okay, now that sounds shit. <laughs> Just leave it. Leave it as it is. Uh, what model is the mini MIDI that you drum on? So this is, you, you can't really see it too well from this camera angle, but it's a, um, uh, I'm looking right at it. It's an M Audio Keystation Mini 32. Um, oh yeah, it's cool, Nicky. There's there's nothing, nothing much to see. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, because I'm doing editing stuff. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a Keystation uh, Mini 32, which I, it's convenient because it's so small but has a decent range so I can kind of keep it in front of me. Uh, normally when this desk is in the seated position, I have the big keyboard off to the left. Um, I've seen a lot of setups where people have their big keyboards like under the main desk as well. Um, but I don't know how they do that and still have like a, a reasonably ergonomic setup. I've tried it and it's there's always some compromise, like it's painful to type or it's painful to play keyboard or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, right, <clears throat> take a listen. See how it's sounding now with everything more or less recorded. Ooh. That's fucking heavy, man. Not as much as I should do, James. I'd really like to get a pedal, expression pedal.
I'll do it after this, I know what I want to do in this bit. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit rough and ready in places, but I think that's sounding pretty cool as like a, a finished song. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to do on this bit. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, so let's take all of these. That's a nice sound, isn't it? <clears throat> you can really hear how shit it is when it's like just isolated. Um, so let me try and put like a, a filter effect on that or something. And this is new RG group. And we'll use this guy. On filter mode, no drive, band pass, automate, <clears throat> automate. Why is that so quiet? Uh, so I think I've missed a, I've missed a question. Um, what synth VSTs do you recommend for adding textures between between guitar parts? Um, yeah, so I use uh, uh, Antidote, which is um, is a rack extension for reason. You can use this in other doors because you can actually use the whole rack uh, as a VST itself. Um, so you could actually load all of these sounds up in like Live or Cubase or Logic or whatever. Um, they also have a VST version called Dune, which I don't have installed. It's unusual. I thought I did. Uh, but it's basically the same company. And the thing that I really like about it is the the Unison engine on it is it's just a really quick way of getting sounds that kind of fill fill the space uh, really nicely. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I use that. Well, you can see how much I use it. There's one, two, three three, four, four of them. Uh, choirs, like to use a lot of choirs as well. Uh, tons of reverb. I'm a bit of a reverb junkie. <laughs> Maybe it would make more sense to use this part of the riff. Maybe I'll think about it. Um, yes, I have so much. It's really good. Works nicely with the keyboard as well. Chugs go. Uh, 
don't want to do them again. No. Okay. Fuck's sake, man. One, two, three, four. Mate, if you think I'm playing bass on this, got another thing coming. I did, well, I, don't, I actually don't have a bass that can go down that low. Um, so, I don't know. I'm kind of okay with it being, like, unrealistic. Oh, nice one, uh, Segura. Which, uh, what model did you get? May it would have even more clarity if I changed the strings. It's been about a year, I think. Not bad. Yeah, let's uh, let's sort this intro out. Nice. I've never had a ESP before. I've always really liked the look of them, though. is that? Oh, it's that. Oh, sweet. There's already a group uh, for pads. So let's try the reverb trick again, because it usually works. <clears throat> so I'm all the way up. Automate the dry wet knob. Uh, oh, why has it done that? That's annoying. Really? Huh. I want to do like a, a reverse, um, reverse snare shot. So what I'll do is we'll do 
Uh, we'll solo the kit and then go file, uh, ounce mixer channels, kit copy, loop, new tracks in song. Uh, I think that's fine. It might put the mastering on it as well, but I don't know. <clears throat> what the bro? Why? This is usually very easy. Maybe it's because there's like some weird uh, MIDI randomization stuff on it and it's it's not catching up uh, properly. Let's try that again. Loop, new tracks. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> um, and then if we go into comp edit, turn snap off, and I'm just gonna drag that so that the, the transient is just outside because I don't wanna hear the pop. Uh, just the kind of like the whoosh sort of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck off, stop it. Would it make more sense if maybe that reverb kind of just, that became like the sort of riser sound? Sounds better with the choirs lower in the mix. Um, at this point on the guitar, Bus and master, anything extra going on? EQ, DI going into Nameless. Um, honestly, the the guitar chain is like embarrassingly simple. So <clears throat> I'm just using uh, Nameless on default preset. And uh, I've literally just done this at the start. Um, you could use any, any EQ for this, uh, but I like that this has got all the Sort of, it reminds me a little bit of a, you know, like a stomp EQ pedal. Um, and that's it really, no whatever gating is is just on there by default. I mean, it's practically off, it's so low. Um, on the guitar group, uh, I'll probably do a little bit of EQing just to get rid of some of the harshness.
Oh, okay, there's a little mid-cut on the whole mix. Didn't know that was on there. Uh, so what are we thinking about this um, intro? Yes, mate, do it. Think of all the fun that you would have with an eight-string on the keyboard. Uh, so if I map, uh, let's see, edit remote, override, and then assign it to the little controller on here so I can... wrong and I was wrong and I was wrong and I was wrong the phrasing on these is from the chorus and they should be on the beat <clears throat> oh man my throat I was wondering why that was sounding a bit uh like wonky it was out of time um Glue these together as well. Are you staying hydrated? Uh, there's a bottle of water I've just looked at. I should probably drink from it soon. Ah, come on. And same with this one as well. Where's the base I just made? That's there. Shit. Uh, those choirs are sounding a bit too choiry. Um, how can I fix that? 
<clears throat> hey, Fat Garner Speedo, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, I think it's just that it's too loud. Hey, Carolina, how you doing? Yeah, that's true, Mike. Oh, there is actually an ooh. Uh, I'm not sure about that transition, I don't know what's going on there, but... I do like that rip of course. Might redo that drum loop, the electronic thing, but I'll do that another time. Hey, thank you very much, Kay. just you've just missed the song it's like sorry guys i know you're, you're probably sick of hearing this now but do you want to hear do you want to hear a new track it's so it's only fair uh welcome raiders uh if you've not been here before um don't know who i am my name is paul aka chimp spanner um just working on a, a new track that's going to be released as a single um because that's basically what i do these days i just i do singles because i can't i can't commit <laughs> to uh, doing albums these days. Uh, so yeah, sorry, we're gonna go through it one more time, but honest opinions, anything that you feel is not vibing, uh, I'd very much like to hear your fresh ears opinion on it. Sorry, we're doing this again. <clears throat> Do you have a good stream tonight, man? It's been ages since I've uh, Actually, it's been ages since I've caught anyone, to be honest. I'm a very bad twitcher. Yeah, yeah, this is this is chimps banner stuff. 
I say Chimps Banner, it's, it's Mick Gordon, basically. But you know, what can you do? Mick Meshuggah. McGordon. Hey, lovely. Thank you, James. Meet Gordon if he wasn't upside down. <laughs> After this, Maximus. lead part over this would be really good. Going into this next section as well. Hey, thank you very much, James. Holy shit, 20 gifted subs. You're a madman. I feel like there could be a riff in between this bit and and this bit. Just to kind of like wind it down a bit. Oh, I just want to thank you very much, Bacchus. Reason. Power of reason. This bit works better, by the way, bringing it in on the second half, but I'm used to that. Hey, James, you can spam tech, tech questions any time you like. But, wait, wait for this end riff. It's stupid. And I can't play it very well. That is it that is the song um maybe while i'm on i'll try and work on this uh yeah uh, maximus what i'll do 
is um, <clears throat> I need to remember how to do this now. Uh, if you are not already, uh, join the. Hey, thank you very much, Bart. If you join the Discord, what I'll do is I'll put uh, a render to this in the general chat. Um, or I think I have like a whip demo channel, so I'll put it in there. So if you want to kind of give it the car test, and it's always good as well to, to get feedback from people listening on different systems to mine, because they might sort of pick out something that I missed, like, hey man, your bass sounds like shit, or your snare's too loud, or whatever. Um, so it's it's always welcome. Um, so yeah, the main thing maybe is... Um, yeah, let me try, uh, let's see, so if we do a cut here, and then we grab everything from here to the end, I want to keep that little, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, no worries, Bart, nice to have you in. Um, I'll try and hop in next time you're on as well, because I need to need to keep up with what everyone's doing. So yeah, have a great night, dude, and we'll speak soon, all right? Oh, the really cool thing, uh, these layer guitars, I actually never got around to, to redoing them as, as real. Uh, these are MIDI. They sound perfectly fine. Oh no, that's what I did in um, Sirens. Can't do that again. Well, I mean, I could do it again, but it's, yeah, I don't want to just rip myself off. Reservation would be, I'm not sure how the certain parts connect. Love the ending. What's its relation to the rest, unless the design is proggy? Yeah, I mean, the, my thinking behind it was, so you've got that... Um, 
and that end riff is kind of based off it, off it with the. It might make more sense if the notes were different, maybe like. So that could be something to do, is change those notes, because it, it doesn't really do anywhere else in the song, but it does. Uh, so that could make sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I mean, mostly I'm, I'm kind of all right with it just being like riffs, 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 and then Hey, nice one, Mike. Glad to hear it, dude. Nice one, Mike. I'll uh, catch you next time. I'll try and get in on, on your next stream as well. Have a good night, man. And uh, Carolina as well. trying stuff out.
what is your guitar playing history? Um, so I used to be uh, keyboards only uh, for quite a long time, actually, until I was about 15, 16. Um, but my, so my dad, well, both of my parents are musicians. My dad's a guitarist, um, but also like a bit of a multi-instrumentalist as well. My mum's a pianist and singer, songwriter. So I was just keyboards until the age of like sort of 15, 16. Uh, and then I started getting into new metal and uh, borrowing dad's guitar and down tuning it to A and really pissing him off. So eventually I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I should probably just get my own guitar. Um, he tried to teach me a whole bunch of times. And I was like, oh, guitar's really stupid. Like, there's loads of places you can play the same note. Like, why would you want to do that? Um, but yeah, eventually I got into it and, and it all worked out. But just self-taught, really. Um, there's a lot of gaps in, in my knowledge uh, and I keep sort of wishing that, you know, I had maybe gone a slightly different route with, with learning and getting some theory knowledge under my belt, but I'm here now, so it is what it is, you know. That sounded pretty cool, I think.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not what I played. Thank you very much, James. going on there? Hey Marty! Do we think that um, that top line, uh, I don't want it to kind of like overstay its welcome. Do with another like ambient layer in there as well. Um. Oh man, I'm I'm always like, yeah, I'll I'll redo the guitars, whatever. It's, it's not gonna happen. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to myself. This is it. As good as it gets. That's the one I was after. I actually made these uh, these drones for... Um, there's a company called Audio Imperia who do like orchestral uh, contact libraries. And um, way back when I used to do some of their sound design stuff. So a lot of these drones and everything and brams and transitions and stuff is all stuff that I did for that. So I just... I reuse them now because why not? Oh, thank you, Nikki.
Uh, I need to take the bottom end out of that drone. So we'll just put a little high pass on it. The higher MIDI lead, where did that idea come from? Um, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't really tell you, to be honest. Uh, I think it was just that I wanted, like, because it was all kind of like block chords, so I wanted something that was moving at a bit of a faster pace just to keep that section going. Um, let me just solo it and see if I, if there was anything in particular that... Yeah, I just, I love a good art. That's me. But it's all derived from, from the chords underneath it, obviously. So what are we thinking about this this new section? Um, hey Manul, how you doing? Uh, you are just in time. Um, we're going to take it back. And there's one bit that, that I want you guys to give opinion on, which is um, this section around around here. I'll, I'll give you a heads up when it comes, comes around. Just tell me if you feel like the the top motif thing is kind of like over, overworn a bit, or if it makes sense. Personally, I feel like there's, it sounds better having a bit of a wind down of energy before it hits that sort of middle section. Because um, I'm trying to just get get it away from that sense of that it's just like riff, 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 riff. So a bit more structure. Um, hey, Zombina. How are you doing? You're just in time. Uh, I'm going to play through this song again. Uh, anything that sounds cool or sounds shit, like, just tell me, it's all good. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, uh, let me know what, what you think of the uh, of the song, Zambina. Hey, welcome first time chatters, just in time. We're doing a nice little playthrough of the new song. Oh, <laughs> ribbity dibbity dibbity. This intro needs a lot of work, by the way, so just imagine that it's good.
This is the bit. Tell me if it sucks. How did that bit sound to everyone? I think it's kind of cool. That's it. That's the song. I think it's it's almost done. But I yeah I, I know what you mean about those like the pace changes. Uh, it might just be like a layering thing because I, th I think there's a lot of sections where things kind of drop out, and things come back in. So maybe just a case of like you know here where like a lot of stuff comes in, maybe start to bring it in before the section changes um, and things like that. Um, but otherwise, I think it's. It's getting there. Um, probably like another two or three hours worth of work. Absolute net breaker. That's fantastic. That's, that's what I want to hear. Um, so, yeah, I think that sounded pretty good. Uh, it's been two and a half hours. Uh, I was going to do like a little electronic-y thing, but I think I might just make myself a cup of coffee and <laughs> watch some Netflix or play some little nightmares, actually. Um, or Little Nightmares 2. I picked it up the other day on CD keys for £7. And uh, it's fucking awesome. It's really good. I don't usually do too well with uh, scary games. But I think the fact that it looks as nice as it does uh, is kind of helping me get, get through it. So I'm going to have a look and just see if there's anyone around that we can raid. Uh, oh man, there isn't. Uh, if anyone knows any channels that are on at the moment that I could do a little raid on, uh, I'd be happy to happy to do that. Yeah, Little Nightmares is, is really good. Scorn, I've also got to finish as well. I, I started that on stream, um, but it's quite a slow game and I've forgotten what I was doing and what's going on. Uh, don't watch the film Smile when you're on your own. Well, I'll do it then. I'll, I'll put it on. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for everyone that has uh, hung out with me tonight. I think it's been really productive. Everything's sounding pretty cool. Uh, still need to give the song a name. Um, if you're not already in the Discord, uh, feel free to uh, join. I'm going to post a, a MP3 of the song as it stands uh, in the general chat. So if you want to give it a spin, give it the car test, whatever. And uh, Nini Music is doing her metal with Chinese instruments again. Uh, yeah, 
let's do that. Um, raid. Uh, 10 seconds, 8 seconds, nice one. But uh, yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, thank you for all the new joins, all the new subs, all the new follows. Thank you very much for all the gifts, uh, Manol and James as well. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yes, I will see you tomorrow night, Nikki. Uh, and as for the rest of you, I'll be back on probably uh, early next week. Uh, we'll mix it up a bit, maybe work on some Zeta stuff or some Dan Tompkins stuff or whatever. So yeah, have fantastic nights, afternoons, mornings, wherever you are, and I'll catch you all next time. In a bit, guys.